everyone, it's Susan from Creating with Susan. It's been quite a while since I've done a video, but uh, welcome back and let's get started. I'm playing along with the color hues challenge. The colors are yellow and gray, and I also decided to make it a one layer card. I've had this stencil for quite a while now, actually, but I don't think I've ever used it, but I thought it'd be perfect for the one layer card technique. I'm using Catherine Pooler inks. I'm starting with Shea Butter and a blending brush. And from the top, I'll work about halfway down. Um, I'm not too worried about it being perfectly even because I'm going to be stamping in the same colors as my background, and that will help with the overall look. And honestly, I like a little um, blotchy. Is that the, I don't know if that's the right word to describe it, but I like the uneven look to things. And so about halfway down here, I'm going to switch to sauna ink and I'll finish the bottom half and then I'll come back with the shea butter and blend it all together to help merge the two inks together. I hope that makes sense. This is my favorite part, pulling off the stencil there and having a look at what you've done. It's just the clean lines all around it, it makes me happy. So the other two colors I'm using are twilight and blackjack ink, both from Catherine Pooler. And um, I pulled out a couple of uh, Catherine Pooler as well stamp sets. The one on the right there that you can see, it's called Find Your Happy. You have to belong to Club Circe to get that one. Um, but the other one, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it right now. I should, but I, I can't. I will list it below. Um, anyway, so I stamped the sentiment in the blackjack ink. And then for building up the flowers, um, I just I just winged it basically um started you know like just started with the circles built it up from there i didn't know i was going to do the uh sunflower looking stamp when i started um like i said when i'm making cards i don't always have a plan i just i'm not one of those ones that sketch out my cards before i do them um sometimes i have a clear vision of what i'm going to do and sometimes i just have an idea and um that's part of the fun of card making for me is just playing with it and having fun. You know, it's just seeing where you end up. So I probably should have uh, inked up my stamp pads before I made this card. There's a couple times I've had I had to uh, stamp twice, but with the blocks I use um, the clear blocks. These are also from Captain Cooler, and being able to see through and line up the image with what you've already stamped it's just it makes it so easy to do the double stamping um but you know inking it up would have been good too so anyways moving on here i'll uh turn on some music and just let you watch the stamping it's, it's pretty self-explanatory so uh, enjoy So the issue I have with one layer cards, and it's not really an issue, it, it's just, um, I guess I don't do enough of the one layer cards to um, be very skilled at it. So this was looking kind of flat to me, which is the case with, you know, for me with one layer cards, because I'm not building up layers, it's it looks flat. So I decided to try to add some dimension with Prismacolor pencils. I took the darker shades of the grays and the yellows that I was using, I found them in my with my pencils and then added a darker color into the center of the flowers and to the um, base of the leaves and the stems. Um, and then also I um, added some color into the center of the flowers to brighten it up a bit. And then I took some grays and I added sort of a shadow. Um, in the bottom right corner there. I'll add it around the edge of the flowers and the leaves and just left that area sort of gray to, to cause it, it sort of a help ground the flowers. 
I hope this all makes sense to you guys because uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a color expert, like I'm not a Prismacolor expert, so I, I'm not sure how to explain it all that I'm doing because I just do what I like. I'm not sure of the technical reasons behind it. I know I like to have shadows and I know I like to have something to ground my image. And that's what I was trying to do with the pencils. So that's my car for today, you guys. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun making it. Here's a couple of pictures for you to have a closer look. Do me a favor, if you like my video, please hit the like button. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to interact with you guys. And if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you would subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Because like I said, I'm going to make more videos and I'd love for you to come along. Take care, everyone. Bye.